So President Ruto had claimed that a total of 250,000 Kenyans are expected to get jobs in Germany. Part of the deal will see an unknown number of Kenyans who are in Germany illegally repatriated back to Nairobi. The German government has denied reports that 250,000 Kenyans had been granted entry into Germany following the signing of a labor agreement, even as it emerges that unknown number of illegal Kenyan immigrants in the European nation will be returned to Nairobi. President Ruto, William Ruto, in a previous interview with German broadcaster Dutch Welle, had claimed that a total of 250,000 Kenyans are expected to get jobs in Germany following the signing of a labor agreement between both countries. CNN on Saturday reported that a spokesperson for Dr. Ruto's office previously also said it was looking at employment opportunities, opportunities for up to 250,000 Kenyans. But Berlin authorities on Sunday denied the numbers, in stating that the pact did not state the exact number of skilled Kenyans who would be allowed into the country. This information is clearly false. The agreement between Germany and Kenya does not include any numbers or quotas of skilled workers who, who will have the opportunity to work in Germany. All applicants must fulfill the strict requirements of the German Skilled Immigration Act, German's Federal Minister of Interior and Community said on X. It is also now imagined that part of the deal that President Ruto and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz signed will see an unknown number of Kenyans who are in Germany illegally repatriated to Nairobi. One of the articles in the agreement states that Kenya is obligated to cooperate with Germany by issuing the necessary travel documents and receiving its citizens once they are kicked out by Berlin. So what does it tell you? It tells you that Kenya government equally in return did not just accept to receive this illegal migrants who are Kenyans back like that. It means that they have sorted him out for him to accept this deal and for him to accept that Kenya is going to issue travel documents for these Kenyans to be repatriated or deported back to Kenya and that his government is equally going to receive them. The parties further commit to ensure that their nationals are duly received and redeemed in full respect for the human rights and to return to one one's own country and the obligation of states to remit their own nationals. The part reads in part. To this end, the parties shall cooperate on the identification of nationals and issuance of travel documents for safe and dignified return and redemission in the cases of persons who do not have the legal right to stay on the other part's territory. Reads an article in the agreement signed by the both countries. So, if you know any Kenyans who is a skilled worker who is already cheering up to that they have signed an agreement that Germany will take 250,000 Kenyans as skilled workers, better tell them that they should tighten their seat belt and make sure they have the full requirements to be able to apply. And this is also for Kenyans that are already illegal in Germany to know that their government have equally accepted to issue a traveling documents and take some of them back home. Yes.